up for sale from Red Vale RV is this 2008 Mercedes-Benz Sprinter van. Automatic diesel 311 CDI motorhome. Now this motorhome is on, we're selling this on behalf of its current owners. This thing is loaded with accessories and it is ready to hit the road for the new owners. It's got a VTNZ WAF till August next year. Registration until June next year. Road user charges for another 4,000 kilometers. Electrical cert and it is self-contained till 2025 also. The purpose of this video is I'm going to walk around this motorhome, I'm going to point out any defects that I find, any bumps or bruises. So if you can't make it here to our yard in Red Valley, you know exactly how uh, the condition of this motorhome is. Now it has travelled 324,000 kilometres, so it is not new, although mechanically it runs exceptionally well. I've just driven it down from Walkworth and it quite happily sits at 100 kilometres an hour the entire way. Doesn't matter if you're climbing hills or what, it is very, very easy and comfortable to drive. And it is an automatic, shifts really nice. Now as we're selling this on behalf, there is no warranties given or implied. You're more than welcome to arrange a mechanical inspection if you see fit as well. We've, we've put it in our workshop and we've done a service on the, the house side of things to test all the appliances and all the accessories, beds, etc. They're all working well. I'm gonna show you the service report shortly. Before we head on in, you'll notice we've got a big Fiamma slide out awning. That can mount on the ground that, or it can mount against the side of the van. It does come out quite a bit further than that, but obviously we're space constrained here. <clears throat> There's also a solar system on the roof. It is hardwired into this camper. So it does have onboard solar. And of course, self-containment. So we're gonna start externally. I'm gonna do a condition report of the van and then we're gonna head on in. Externally, for a vehicle traveled this amount of kilometers, it's in above average order. Sun fading, of course, on plastics. We do have some stone chips um, in the paintwork, but not that many for a uh, van that's traveled this sort of kilometers. We do have a wee stone chip at the bottom of the windscreen there, but none in the area that counts. Does have alloy wheels fitted. Of course, we do have some sun fading on the plastics as well, but paintwork is in uh, good order. Tire-wise, we're probably about 60% tread left on those. It is fitted with onboard LPG, so there is a bottle in there. It does have uh, some crazy cracking in the paint and some touch-ups as to be expected of a vehicle of this age. It does have onboard LPG water heating and it has its own onboard grey water tank which we're currently draining right now as well. Rear tyres, probably about 40% tread left on them. This is where your mains, plug, uh, mains cable plugs in there. So it does have 230 volt onboard power as well. There are some minor touch-ups on the paint. But all in all, good condition. Round to the rear. Rear doors are in good order. Couple of pin dents. A few paint touch-ups. Really nothing of note. Rear step down here you can see has a little bit of a crunch at some stage. We're gonna to get to the inside shortly. Round to this side here. So it is in good order as well. Once again, a little bit of sun fading on our plastics, a few pin dents here and there. Does have onboard toilet and we empty the cassette there. Does come with this trestle. We're gonna step on in. Now this is a three berth motorhome, meaning it can sleep three. So we've got a belted seat here, so this is where your third passenger would sit. And of course, front passenger would be front passenger and driver would be in here. Cabs in good order. There are some little marks on the seats. There is a split in the seat here. 
lots of storage. This, this thing drove brilliantly. Now it does have a huge Philips smart screen here that has Apple CarPlay and it has all of the modern features. It's also had a reverse camera fitted which runs through there. Of course we've got our uh, automatic transmission there. Round up here, we've got our Warren of Fitness from VTNZ. It's next engine service is not due till 330, oh that's the alignment, I'm sorry. Uh, next engine service is not due till 330,000. It's had a service of the body done by us. <coughs> now we're gonna step to the rear. Now I'm gonna have the camera on fisheye lens to try and get as much of the inside as I can in. Now this area here can quite comfortably seat four people. This table does slide out the way or it completely removes. It can be mounted in three different positions. This area here, the entire thing, comes uh, about a queen size bed and it's a relatively comfy one at that. Um, there's a whole lot of folding bits and bobs and this all becomes a queen size bed. Now in one of the photos you'll notice it also has a hanging bunk that attaches to the likes of these brackets. There and there. So you can have a child sleeping above. You wouldn't want a heavy person in there, put it that way. Now it is fitted with onboard DVD player, all in working order. LED lights are fitted throughout and all of the lights are working. It does have onboard LPG room heating. You notice here, and it's also got an, an onboard fan system. It does have a gas hot water system, which is all in working order. We've got USB points there. This is our light switch here. Onboard tank monitoring, so for your fresh and grey water. Built-in pump. All of our controllers for our 12 volt fridge, television, water pump, water heater, things like that are all here. We've got a condition monitor here that checks how much oomph is left in our battery. We do have power points fitted throughout the caravan. They only work when you're plugged into mains. Overhead storage on both sides. Solar system is controlled up here. 230 volt microwave. It does have two sets of keys, although one needs a battery. Good water pressure, hot or cold. Two burner LPG uh, hob there. And we've got a little Expel air unit tucked up there as well. Coming down to our kitchen, lots of drawers, cupboard space. We've got a gas grill here. And we've got a Waco onboard 12 volt fridge, which is very efficient. And tucked to our right hand side here. We have a shower toilet combo with its own Expel air fan. There's great water pressure in here. There's great water pressure. Cassette loo there, all in working water. Now condition wise, this motorhome is in used order. Do not expect it to be new. There are Things like this, where the plastics to insert here have shrunk. There is wear on cabinetry, and there is wear on materials. It's all very functional, but it is worn. So do not expect it to be new, because it is certainly not. The previous owner has put brand new curtains up here, and along here. There is a brand new curtain to be hung on that track there. But they haven't got round to it, that is tucked up there. So the new owner can hang that up. It does have the old curtain that can be hung up there if you didn't want to sew. Okay, I'm just going to show you down the back here as well. We open up this other rear door. So this here is the top bunk. And you can see this bit of wood here is had lots of things knocking on it so some chips out of it there is some sun fading on the fake wood 
and down the back here while I'm here, the little plastic edge of the kitchen bench is missing. If someone's looking for a motorhome that's ready to hit the road, that sleeps three, this thing is certainly up for the job. Here at Redvale, we can arrange the sale of your current motorhome or caravan. We specialise in on-behalf sales. We also can arrange finance and insurance. We're available to view, or sorry, this is available to view between 7.30 a.m. and 4 p.m. Monday to Friday. Jump on our website, www.redvalerv.com. Click on the contact, con contact us tab. Give us a call. Thank you so much for watching.